All right, hello everybody. This is Xter99 back with another first play on launch day. All right, guys, we keep getting these like 2D plane war games, and uh, we also keep getting a lot of these new uh, breakout style games. And this one looks uh, pretty like you know targeting children or whatever, but uh, it looks pretty cute, I guess if you would say. Uh, I kind of like the style looking at it here on the uh, Steam page and I want to go ahead and thank the developer Hero Concept for handing me a free evaluation copy of their game Dolings Arcade. Now this developer uh, is brand new to Steam. It looks like this is their first uh, game and this game comes in at a price tag of $4.99. If I refresh, it looks like they do offer a 20% discount or a dollar off the first week. So this game's coming in at the same price tag as BrickFest, which I reviewed just last week. It scored at 95%, barely uh, topping over my favorite uh, Steam breakout style game of all time with Shatter before that. So can Doling's Arcade beat my current 95% score just scored by BrickFest just last week. We'll find out right after this. All right, welcome back everybody. Hero Concept introduction here. And uh, we now have our game, Doling's Arcade. All right, let me turn the volume down just a little bit here, guys. Okay. So we have play, we have level editor, we have settings here. And let's go ahead and check that out. Settings, we have English, uh, Okay, so it looks like we have about 10 different uh, languages. I like that. Pretty uh, versatile there. Windowed mode, VSync on or off, hints on or off. Keyboard, WASD, uh, aim left, aim right, show off a space. Or it looks like we can do everything right here with a mouse. That's a lot of different options, or the controller as well. Uh, mouse sensitivity. Uh, throw is mouse one, aim is mouse two, or show off is both mouse buttons at the same time. You can also use a controller. And the credits, uh, game design artwork, it looks like about, uh, oh wow, there's quite a few people involved in this. Play testers. But as far as actually making the game, one, two, three, four, five, nine, about a dozen people involved in making this game. That kind of surprises me. All right, and uh, we have a level editor as well. So if we look at that, you can go in and play somebody else's levels. That adds a lot of value to the game. And as you can see, I have already uh, played somebody's uh, level here. And I did get this game a few days ago. And you can also go into your favorites. You can search for a level. So if your friend buys the game and tells you, hey, I made a game called Zaxter's a Poo Poo Head, uh, you can go in and search it up and find it that way. Uh, you can also look at the most liked uh, level designs, play that. Or you could come in here, right here, and create your own level to have other people play. So that looks really, really cool, guys. You can do different themes. Uh, and you can, you know, place bricks and power-ups and everything right on the level wherever you want them and test it yourself, save it, publish it uh, so other people can play it. That's pretty freaking cool to be able to get all that for under five bucks. But let's go ahead and play the main game here and go to play. The Dolings, with their cheerful faces, they were living in a dimension far away. How they used to love watching other cultures and impersonating them. But that terrible day, a meteor fell from the heavens. 
The poisonous gas. It leaked out and affected them one by one. Those toxicated went wild, then turned into stone. Time was running out. Something had to be done. Thanks to Dr. Morpheus, he found a cure to save his people. But things got messy. He was attacked by his diseased kin. Now, there's only one thing left to do. Save his folk. Like a hero. Alright guys, so when you start the level, you do start off... Um, we're going to go ahead and start back here at level 1, show you how this works. Oops. That is the home page. Sorry about that. The Dolan. Start here back at level one and show you how the game plays out. So you have a objective, and it shows you the rewards. If you, you know, get one star, you get one potion. Two stars, you get two potions. Three stars, you get three potions. And you can also see the current three top leaders on any particular level. So here you go guys, I've already played this game a little bit like I said, uh, hit those dolings to heal them and earn points. Uh, do combo hits to earn even more points, so you know, hit more than one brick if you would, uh, every time you hit the ball. Uh, collect stars for better rewards and lives for extra lives. And stay away from the falling targets to avoid any point loss or slowdown. So pretty easy. You start with this guy down here. Your all your friends or, or other creatures have been turned into stone, and you've got to try to rescue them by using this ball to do just that. So you can aim with the left mouse button. You can throw. I mean, you can throw with the left mouse button. Throw the ball. You can aim by hitting right mouse button. It actually went automatically because I took too much time. But if you hit the right mouse button before you launch the ball. It will change you so you're uh, throwing the ball at a complete, at the opposite angle, whatever you have. So you catch these thumbs up, try to get the stars if you can. And then when you get the show up button, you can hit both mouse buttons at the same time and do a color ball attack. And notice how when the ball, whoa, watch all that. Notice how when the ball uh, hits these things, they turn a different color. And eventually they will turn uh, peach or back like they should, just like you. So you got to try to progress them back to their normal colors so they can be rescued. Notice that, that guy just turned back to uh, peach complected and he was saved after that. So I was actually watching the faces, how cute they are, the eyes and the expressions, and miss that ball. So if you hit the right mouse button, like I said, and do the aim, it just basically changes your angle. And you can try to find the best angle, go ahead and throw it. Hit them right in the face to release them. As soon as they are the same color as you, they will fly off and be rescued. You are trying to set these guys free. Keep that ball alive without touching those uh, faces when they drop. Now we have a timer at the very top. It can be kind of tough in this game to hit every single uh, to rescue them all. As you can see, it's kind of tough to. Yeah, see, we're just barely missing that. Yeah. Oh, we ran out of time, so we missed two of them, but, oh, we scored only two points, or two scar, uh, stars there, and uh, we can play again or go to the next level. We're going to go ahead and show you the next level here, and go on to level two. Same kind of uh, mission here, and a completely different level design this time. This time we have an extra life waiting for us in the bricks. Uh, collect excitements to light up tent power or tent spotlights. And press the show off button to activate the color ball. Let's do this. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. 
There's number one. Uh, just like the other two brick games that I've played the last few days, I like how it gives you how many points you get every time it hits these uh, bricks or faces, if you would. I love the expressions they've drawn here. I mean, it kind of makes it look a little bit like a kid game or like it's targeting kids alone. But I don't really think anybody could uh, enjoy this game. All ages, if you would. Whack. We lost our color ball, special attack. I like how you can kind of hear them all laughing and making different sounds and everything like that. Definitely adds something to the game. Gives it a personality, if you would. And I like that. We're going to go ahead and show off here, do our color ball attack, catch these things first. Timer at the top. Can we get them all? Can we get them all? Look at their facial expressions. That's so funny. Whack one more time. Oh, now we get two left. Oh, we're almost out of time though. We're gonna we're gonna leave two just like we did last time. Because getting these angles is not easy. Not bad, not bad. Move on to level three here. Keep an eye on the progress bar at the top to get ready for new targets from above. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Look at the yellow ones. They look all like depressed or whatever. The blue ones are all kind of smiley. Kind of a smart ass smile. We are trying to save as many of these guys as we can here. Yeah, I think, I think if you have kids and your kids have never played a brick wall game, this would be the one game to buy, uh, you know, especially like younger kids. I'm talking like, you know, 12 or younger. Uh, but like I said, I mean, I'm in my 40s and I uh, definitely love this game. Or I like this game. I don't necessarily love it. Uh, but I definitely love the, uh, what I love about it is I love the, the art style and the personality on these the different faces. I love all those facial expressions. I like how they laugh. Very, very cool. The only knock I'm seeing right now, guys, is sometimes the ball is a little bit hard to keep track of. I wish they made the ball a little bit easier to see. Sometimes they just the dull gray ball blends into the background and kind of makes it hard to see where it's at at all times. Uh, making it kind of glow a little bit or be on fire or something like that. Uh, giving it some kind of uh, easier effect to see where it's at. Maybe a, a more kind of a neon path. I don't know. I think just making the ball glow would help a lot. I like the trail as they have it right now. All those yellow ones up there. And we got a lot left. We don't have much time either. Forgot we had a color ball we could use here. Yep, 
Yep. Well, we messed that one up. We didn't do that good. We had, what, seven of them left? Now, the cool thing about this game, guys, is as you play, you can also come over here and you can earn power-ups with all your different potions that you earn. So, for example, you can see that uh, you can extend your color ball, uh, level two. You can also come down here and you can select different things like that, like increase the morph duration of Smash. So you have all these different power-ups. You can do a gunner, and this persona will be unlocked later where you can obviously fire uh, and uh, shoot the bricks or shoot the uh, people to free them. Uh, Robo, some kind of a magnetic thing. Uh, Webster, that looks really cool. So some pretty good power-ups that you can go and learn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different power-ups that you can uh, learn based on uh, all these different things, these personas that you unlock if you would. And then if we go back, guys, go back to our home page. You know, you have your level editor here as well. So I love the fact that you can go in and play somebody else's levels, that they're sorted by most like. You can vote on them after you play them. So for example, if we want to go play this guy's Psychotron, one of the top levels so far, we can take a look at it, kind of see what they designed and play it ourselves and uh, see how we do. And then you can go in and create your own levels and share those levels with friends and family or whatever. Uh, I think that's just that adds a lot of value to a game like this. I mean, I've seen you know games like this that allow you to make your own levels, but to allow you to share them and play, you know, your friends' levels definitely adds quite a bit. Let's go ahead and grade this game, guys, based on what I'm seeing here today. Give it a first impression score, uh, much like I have the other games. You know, the question is now: Can it beat last week's Brick Fest, which scored a whopping 95%? Guys, at $4.99, this game, I think most people, especially if you have kids or young ones, or you know you're an adult and you don't mind playing a game that looks like this, I think you're gonna have an easy five hours of gameplay out of this in the coming months. Uh, you know, especially if you like breakout style games. This is a definitely a good one. So $5 for this game, especially with all the ability to play other, uh, you know, players created levels and design your own and everything like that you're easily going to get that five hours in to give you a good value score. 40 out of 40 is my score on value all day long here. And then uh, next criteria is worth 30 points. It is how much fun is the game? Whoa, crap. The game is pretty damn fun. To be honest with you, this is going to be where, you know, it's going to vary a little bit depending on who you ask. If you ask an eight-year-old kid, they might be thinking, oh, this is a 30 out of 30. This is the most fun game I've ever played. Uh, but uh, for me, this one's a little bit lower than, uh, I prefer the style uh, of like Brickfest a lot more than I like this. Uh, and I think it's just a little bit more fun, but I can definitely see the appeal to this game. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a 25 out of 30. Uh, still a very high score for me there, but I believe I gave Brickfest a 28 out of 30 and Brickfest was the same price. Also got a 40 out of 40 on value. Uh, next criteria is controls and bugs. Guys, there's nothing wrong with this game. The only knock I have with controls and bugs is every once in a while I notice, and I've, I've played this game for like 40 minutes before, and I've noticed a little bit of lag sometimes in the game. Every once in a while while you're playing, you'll notice a little hiccup, and it doesn't last that long. But here's where we can vote this level up or down, and uh, you know we can replay it here, whatever we want to do. But yeah, I've noticed a little hiccup of lag every once in a while, and I mean, I have a pretty beefy gaming computer. Definitely should be able to play a breakout game. And uh, I don't know why that lag is happening, but uh, I've tried playing it, rebooting my computer, everything like that, and I'm still getting the lag every once in a while. And you almost notice it just for a split second right there uh, as the ball was coming back down to me, the, the game kind of hiccup for a second. And that can cost you in a game like this. Uh, and it can definitely take away the appeal of the game. So this game's gonna get an 18 out of 20 just because that you know hiccup of lag every once in a while can definitely be frustrating. And everybody may not experience, but I can only base these scores based on what I'm experiencing. And this is the third time I've played this game and I'm still noticing a little bit of hiccup of lag every once in a while. I'm not gonna hit it too hard because I have a feeling this is something they might be able to correct with an update. 
uh, or some optimization or something. But uh, 18 out of 20 is my score there on controls and bugs. And then the graphics and sound, guys, for this game, I really, really like the art style here. The facial expressions are really, really cute, really, really clever and well done. Uh, I like the kind of theme of, you know, saving these people from, you know, the uh, the affliction that they have and rescue them, rescuing them by hitting them with a ball. Uh, definitely a lot different and a unique and new take on your breakout game over just having standard bricks up there. Even though I personally don't like the appeal as much as like just, you know, like BrickFest for example, uh, I can definitely see a lot of kids loving this in particular. Guys, graphics and sound, uh, very well done. I can't go any less here than a 8 out of 10. This game deserves at least an 8 out of 10, and that's exactly what I'm going to give this game. 8 out of 10. So if you add that all up, guys, let me um, pause the game here. Let me take my trusty calculator here. We said 40 for value, 40 out of 40 for value. I said 25 out of 30 for fun. I said 18 out of 20 for controls and bugs, and a 8 out of 10 for graphics and sound, guys. This game is still one of my top breakout style games of, uh, I guess, all time. Well, at least on Windows or on Steam or whatever. And I've reviewed a lot of these breakout style games. I bet you I've reviewed at least 20 of these games over the past five years. This game, guys, scores a very impressive 91% putting this game number three in my best breakout games uh, on Steam at this current time. Number one right now is BrickFest. Same price as this game, uh, and uh, I like it a lot. It came out last week. It is made by a single developer, and I was talking to him uh, in one of my buddy's streams the other day, uh, and he said that he made that game with a Godot engine, and he said it was his very first game he ever made. And that to me is just amazing and super impressive that somebody made BrickFest their very first game uh, without any kind of game development experience before. So definitely check out BrickFest if you haven't already. Uh, my top brick breakout style game, if you would, uh, with a current score of 95%. And not far behind is Shatter. 94%, that game is just loads of fun. You fight bosses, it's you know high octane, high adrenaline a lot faster pace than something like this game here or a lot faster pace than something even like uh, BrickFest. It is a super fun game and it's old. It came out like back in 2009 or 2010 on the consoles and I believe it came to Steam a little bit later. But that is uh, Shatter and that scored a 94. And this is my third uh, highest reviewed Shatter game, at least that I can remember. And this one is under five bucks, a great value. I love the fact that you can create your levels, play your friends' levels. That definitely adds something to the game. In fact, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game two extra points because they do have that ability to create your levels, play your friends' own levels, all that good stuff. I think these guys deserve at least two extra credit points. Kind of makes up for that knock and the lag that I've noticed once in a while. We're gonna go ahead and give them those two points back because they have created that uh, level design and play other people's levels and they haven't charged any more for the game as I might expect Two extra points very well deserved. I think by these developers that bumps this game up to a 93 so 93% guys is my score for this game and that makes uh, You know, it's all really close. I think it's really going to depend on your preference So definitely if you're looking for a good breakout game Look at this one, see what you know kind of style you prefer. You know, uh, look at Shatter and then look at BrickFest. And uh, the problem with Shatter, and the reason it probably doesn't have a higher score than a 94, is the price isn't 10 bucks. So, you know, if it wasn't for the 10 dollar price tag, it would probably be number one. It probably, you know, if it was a five dollar price tag, just like these two games, BrickFest and this game here, uh, Shatter would probably be a, like at a 97 or something. But, uh, you know, they're all right up there in the same kind of score. So look at Shatter, look at this game, and look at BrickFest, and make your choice. So if you make a decision, and you look at all three of those games, and you decide on one, be sure you comment down below. Let me know which breakout-style game you decided to buy. And if you just watched this video, and this video helped you make a decision on either buying this game or not buying this game, definitely let me know as well down in the comments below. 
Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zaxter99, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.